Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team, here with another video for The Division. This is going to be the weekly vendor reset for all the Dark Zone vendors for April 13th, 2018. We're going to start right here at the base of operations here at the post office and go to all the vendors that take Dark Zone currency, Dark Zone credits. So that's all the checkpoints that lead into the Dark Zone and then all the safe rooms in the Dark Zone and this vendor, of course. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we do a separate video for all of the open world vendors. And within all, within both videos, we do featured items. So you'll see a featured item pop up right here at the next vendor. And that lets you know uh, if it's a, it's a, definitely an item worth looking at for the week. So definitely take a second look. So you'll see right here this mod coming up right here. So when that pops up, that's how you know it's a featured item, which is which is definitely worth a second look. So we do that for both the open world and the dark zone. There's a couple in here in the dark zone. There was a couple in the open world and they're also going to be timestamped in the description below. So if you just want to skip ahead to all the featured items, you can just go to the timestamps in the description. And if there's any specific uh, vendor you want to check out, those will also be timestamped in the description. So a couple things I wanted to talk about this week. Uh, the 1.8.1 .1 update is officially out. Came out yesterday. And uh, if you're not familiar with what is entailed in the update, uh, it's drop rate increases for classified gear and exotics. Some more other major changes were that they are including more ways to get division tech in the open world. Now the if you have the season pass, there's a weekly supply drop that comes in the open world. If you If you take care of that, supply drop you will get a hundred division tech from that also the open world well, all of the uh, daily assignments will now give you 25 percent or sorry 25 division tech after completing each one so that's another way to get some more division tech also they increase the drop rate to six percent you have a six percent chance to get a classified piece of gear or an exotic from any of the named bosses in the open world or the dark zone so increased chance there. And in the open world, they increased the types of drops you can get to all of the exotics in the loot pool. So now in the open world, when you kill a named guy, it won't just be like the Tenebrae or the Caduceus or the Skull and Seaglips. You'll be able to get any of the exotics that are available in the game that are included in the, in the drop loot pool. Also, they took out of the drop loot pool all the items, all the exotics that you can buy. So if you if you go like to the terminal or you go to Camp Clinton and you go to the special equipment vendor, he sells exotics. Those can only be purchased from those vendors from now on. So you won't be able to get them in drops, which is kind of great. So if you open an exotic cache, you won't get something that you could just buy at a vendor. So that was actually cool. And as they also are selling classified gear caches now at the terminal and at Camp Clinton at the special equipment vendor. So if you go there and you have 2,500 Phoenix credits, you can buy a classified cash and it will be a guaranteed classified gear set item. So there were some other nuances in the game that they changed too, but those were all the major ones, if you did not know. And 1.8.1 uh, is pretty legit. I mean, like I do like that they increased the amount of division tech that you can get in the game now, because that because farming for division tech right now is ridiculous because everyone is farming for division tech so it's hard to find in the dark zone now and and in resistance to be honest it's just uh, more tedious it was more tedious before yesterday and now with the 1.8.1 out it is a lot easier to get some you know a decent amount of division tech not a whole lot but a decent amount and you need that division tech to upgrade your gear at the optimization station so it is a hot currency I'm glad that they did this because I was able to upgrade a couple of my classified sets now. Because I was all I needed was a little bit more division tech. So that's good, and I was really looking forward to that. So I'm glad they did that. We still have another update coming out, 1.8.2, which should be in July. But right now we're just gonna enjoy this. There's also new encrypted caches too, so if you go to the premium vendor in the terminal, you can uh get those encrypted caches they have new emotes and a new uh, costumes or cosmetics that you can get new you know pants and jackets and 
weapon skins and backpack skins and things like that. So a couple of new things, pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to getting more stuff to wear. I personally like the final measure fit that you can get now. It looks really cool to me, but pretty awesome. Uh, there's no rule any, you know, outside of that, there really isn't any new, there isn't any other news that's available. Nothing new about Division 2. Some channel, personal channel news. I will be going to E3 this year, and that's where they're doing the Division 2 big reveal. So I will be there, and I will be able to document everything I can, or that they'll allow me, and I'll be able to give you the guys that information as I get it. So hopefully we'll be able to do like a video blog while that's happening. We'll be able to just to kind of, you know, instant video transmission stream <laughs> that information as we get it. So that'll be pretty cool. I got my confirmation for E3 in the mail the other day, so looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. I'm expecting to see a couple of other games there too, like Anthem is supposed to have something there too. But Division 2 is going to be awesome, so hopefully they'll have some way more info. And whatever you guys don't get from me, I'm sure Ubisoft will have, you know, they're definitely going to have a booth there and they're definitely going to be talking about Division 2 all that week. So hopefully we'll get some new info, because I'm really looking forward to the new stuff. Division 1 is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I am looking forward to just having a new division. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be good for the Ubisoft and gaming community. My expectations are high, <laughs> I will say that too. But I think they're going to do a good job. I think, they, I think they've taken the right amount of community feedback. I think they're going to be able to incorporate that information and make a great game. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, finishing up here. Well, actually, this is DZ3 safe room. Nothing much here. There were only a couple items here in the dark zone that were worth looking at. Feature items. Now we're heading to DZ2 safe room. Finishing up here. And again, if you guys want to just skip to the... I know this is the end of the video, but if you want to just skip to the featured items, they are timestamped in the description. So just take a look at those if you want to skip to those. But that is going to do it for all the dark zone vendors, guys. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from regaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions you want to give us any feedback. It's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!